Alrighty, what is up everybody? Today we're going to be doing the troubleshooting for the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. This is the big guy that prints all of your 4x6 shipping labels. You know, it's the one label that you print more than anything else, unless you're doing FBA books or, or FBA inventory that you print the uh, 30 up labels. You know, this is going to be your standard uh, for printing. So first off, this really is the best investment I feel that we've ever made into our business. We paid about 180 for this guy, brand new on Amazon. Um, I'll leave the link below if you guys want to check this out directly on Amazon, just so you know exactly what we're talking about. But the number one issue is simply this. It just won't print. You send the print command, you know, of course, from your computer to the Dymo, and nothing happens your little blue light is on everything looks like it should work you can even depress the little switch here it'll spit out a blank label for you it'll act like it's working correctly um, but of course it's not because it won't print what you're telling it to print so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to turn this guy around here and i love this thing because there's only two cables of course we all want it to be bluetooth we all want it to be wireless but we're not quite there yet you have your power cable and of course the cable that goes directly to your computer so if you're having the issue where it won't print, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the power cable, and then you're going to remove the cable that goes to your computer. You'll notice after about 10 to 20, maybe 30 seconds at max, this little illuminated light right here, it's going to go off. That means that it's fully powered off and you can fully power cycle it now. So once you see that go off, you're perfectly fine to flip this guy back around and I would reinsert the cables opposite of how you took them out. So put your computer cable back in, put your power cable back in. Of course, clear your, one of two things is gonna happen. Most of the time when I do this, if I have this happen, which is rare, guys, we've printed over 2000 labels through this thing in the year we've had it. We've put this thing to work and we've never had a major malfunction. So, um, once you plug that all back in, one of two things is going to happen. One, nothing is going to happen, in which case you just resend the print command. Or number two, which happens, I'd say, about 90, 95% of the time, is it's just automatically going to print the label or any labels you had backed up in that print order. So that right there, two minutes into the video, we've solved the number one issue that you have with your Dymo. It really is that easy. This is the most user-friendly device that I have probably the most user-friendly electronic that I've ever had. It's easier than programming a remote, you know, it's, it's crazy easy. So the next thing is, if you're having an error where it won't print correctly, saying it's printing half a label, say maybe your label is printing kind of skewed off to the side, the number one thing you want to do is you want to check for jams. So this clever little deal right here, this little lever, as you can see, that's going to be on the left side of your Dymo. If you depress that, or if you pull it back, it's going to free up the mechanism in here that spits out the labels. So I don't want to mess up my label orientation, but if you pull this back, you can either pull it out the back, you can pull it out the front, but this little lever right here is going to let you basically freely move any labels that are loaded into it. It's going to let you freely move that, and of course this right here should eject it um, if you have any issues. So this little lever right here is going to solve any of those jamming issues that you have, as you can pull this guy back and pull the labels out you know, in any orientation that you want. Now on that note, with label orientation, you'll notice here how there's a little strip sitting up, and that's gonna be, you can see it back here, this little strip right here. You wanna make sure when you first load in your labels, or if you've been doing some test prints, you wanna make sure that this strip is what's right here. And that's just going to ensure that your labels aren't cut off at 90% on the top or the bottom. Of course, if it's on the bottom, it could really mess up that scannable barcode for the postal service. If it's on the top, it could completely cut off your return address, or if you have um, postage price listed, it could also mess up that as well. So you wanna make sure that your label orientation is perfect. Now this is a picky machine, but it's super easy to run. Like I said, we've run over 2000 labels through this thing. Now we've had to troubleshoot it maybe three or four times. So super, super wonderful machine. Now we're gonna actually go up to the roll here. Again, it will not print if it's open most of the time. It does have to be shut. So if you have a label that is not specific for your Dymo, if it's too big of a label, some of the UPS rolls are way too big for the Dymo. It's not gonna close all the way. You're gonna get a little bit of a gap right there and it's not gonna print. Um, the other thing is this roll right here. If you are having issues, 
it seems I'm having issues getting it out. If you're having issues with your label orientation, okay, this guy right here, okay, on the right side, it has this little, it's not really a screw on, but as you can see, it's kind of an adjuster there, okay? You can see the rivets in there. You wanna make sure that this is flush with your roll. If you put it on and there's a little gap like that, your label is gonna move side to side as you print and it may either do one of two things. It may jam your machine or it may print your label completely sideways, which of course nobody wants. So when you put it in, again, I don't know if you guys can see it on this side. Let me do this. If you guys can see it on this side, there's that arrow there. When you load it in, you wanna make sure that the arrow goes in. So we'll cover that on a second. So when you put in your new roll, okay, make sure this guy is flush to it, no gaps. And then let me pull this forward. When you put your actual roll in, you wanna make sure that it goes in with the arrow. So if the arrow is pointing that way, which it should be, it should always be pointing towards the top. So just think arrow to the top, you load it in that way. You don't want the arrow to face you, you want the arrow to face outwards of you or towards the top of the machine, uh, whichever makes it easier. So you wanna make sure there's no gaps, you wanna make sure that your label is straight with this line here. So the part coming out is gonna be that line there. Usually when we put a new roll in, we'll put in the roll, we'll kick out one or two labels and then use this lever to make sure that we're straight, okay? Again, machine must be closed in order to function properly. So the last thing is if you're printing and your labels are coming out almost as if you're running out of ink, which of course there's no ink here, but it can look faded, uh, it can look skewed, maybe it's dirty, maybe there's literally a white strip missing out of it. Okay, every 500 labels, we run one of these through it. Now what these guys are, they are literally specially designed little kind of, I don't know if they're alcohol swabs or what they are, um, but you get a box of 10, they're fairly cheap. I think we only pay about a dollar, maybe less per swab. Um, we've had this one box of 15, you know, the whole year and we're not even halfway through it. So super cost effective, but they'll save you a lot of headache. So I'll put the link to these guys down below as well, just so you know uh, exactly what you're getting. Gives you instructions, you basically, you tear this open, you take the swab out, you take your labels out, of course you can depress this, pull them out, and then you just feed this through. This will be fed through. Usually we feed it through, flip it over, feed it through again, turn it sideways, flip it, flip it through again, you know, just different ways, different orientations. And what this does is this actually cleans um, the thermal, I don't know what you would call it, the, the part that actually imprints your label or your writing or your logo, whatever you're printing, uh, it basically cleans that little laser there. So if you're having issues with the printer, you know, uh, having white streaks through it, having faded or faint lettering, these guys right here, cleaning cards. So there's only 10 and we're not even halfway through the box in the year we've had them. So super cost effective. So those really are the main issues that I see people having with the Dymo. Of course, if you want to fully take it apart, this front piece does come off. Um, say you have you know something stuck up in here, you can literally from the bottom just pull that guy up. I don't wanna do it right now because I don't feel like putting it back together, um, but that will actually come up and it'll give you a look at all the insides in here. Of course, only do that when you're in a clean environment. You don't want a bunch of dust or dirt or anything like that getting into the lasers. So anyways, guys, this really is the best investment that we've ever had. You don't need it. We did a full year using like a $30 inkjet printer from Walmart for all of our labels, but this guy right here is the most efficient easily functioning, um, highly functioning piece of business investment that we've ever acquired. So I do highly recommend getting one of these if you don't have one, but if not, I hope we answered any questions that you may have. If you have any further questions or need any troubleshooting done personally, um, leave a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram at hustle underscore millennial, and I'd be more than happy to take a second to help you. So as always guys, get out there, kill it, make some money, always evolve the ways of uh, the sources, streams of income that you have. Always be learning, always be educating yourself, and have an amazing day.